What's up everyone, Kevin Oak here. Um, just real quick, if you're watching this, our latest Barbell Commission release is live on the website, as well as our Memorial Day weekend sale. So everything, including the new stuff, is on sale on the website. Um, there's codes out there, if you look on Instagram, I'll put them down below. But free shipping domestic for any orders over $100. Um, free international shipping for any orders over $150 and everything on the website right now is marked down um, some of the new stuff we have you can see right here these shorts so the sweat shorts um, you know obviously they're made out of cotton polyester material they're like a sweatpant material but what we did is we put a strip of spandex which is like that white strip that you can see on the um, inseam as well as the outseam so that you can actually squat into them most shorts that are looser the tendency is when you try to squat on them, you feel very restricted. So we decided to make a pair of shorts that you can actually go full range of motion in with absolutely no restriction. So I'm very happy with how these came out. They have zippered pockets. They're extremely comfortable. I know a lot of people have asked me for regular shorts because, you know, they just don't want to wear compression shorts in their gym. It's not their style. It's not what they're used to. They wanted more of an everyday short that you can actually wear outside as well as training. So that's why we designed these. I'm very happy with how they came out. Um, as well as we released new muscle tanks, which I'm wearing here as well. They're a pretty good cut. They're fuller than most tank tops, so you can still squat in them and have a barbell on your back without ripping up your back. You can still lay down on a bench press without getting too much actual skin contact with the bench. So I think the muscle tanks are pretty well to say the same. Um, so yeah, everything is now live over at barbellcommissionapparel.com just check out the link below but I wanted to give you guys an update on what's going on um, last time I put up a video was after I, I had been down about 26 pounds um, I went from 253 down to 226 made mostly lifestyle changes some diet changes um, using more while well, I'm eating more of a, like kind of an anti-inflammatory diet not like you know Tom Brady extreme but I'm staying away from a lot of sugars I don't drink soda anymore um, I cut out dairy so no cheese no milk the only milk I drink is Fairlife which is um it's um what's it what's the term it is non-lactate so um non-lactose is lactose free so my diet's been cleaned up a lot I'm a lot more active I tend to walk at least two miles a day, doing cardio, um, I'm not eating, you know, big ZD of meat every day anymore, I'm eating a lot healthier, it's more vegetables in my diet, um, so I've made a lot of changes just to feel better, and my body overall does feel much better, so it has been working out so far, the lowest I got down to is 227, now I'm back up to about 233, so I'm starting prep for the tribute meet. The tribute meet is the first week in August. The goal is to compete at 220. Um, for me to compete at 220, I really need to stay under like 236, 237, so I can do a water cut to 220. That's what I'm trying to do right now. If that starts to feel too difficult, if it starts to feel like I'm really holding myself back, then I'll simply go up and just compete at 242. It's not that big a deal to me. But um, if I can go at 220, I say fuck it. Let me try to break my old total and let me try to break the squat right here um, and sleep. So that's the goal as of now. I think the Trinity is actually going to be very competitive this year. John Hack is going. His books is up substantially since, you know, since last year, since previous years. So I think especially on the knee, on the knee sleeve side, this is probably going to be a great meet. So I'm really looking forward to it. Um, we're about 10 weeks out right now. So this, what I'm doing right here is isometric bench press. When I'm pushing against pins, this is what my physical therapist David Joe gave me to do as I was rehabbing my my um, bicep tendon. So these actually worked out very well. Um, this was something he hasn't given to anyone else. I'm kind of a unique client for him. I'm really the only, you know, heavier power lifter that he, that he works with. He mostly works with more like runners, CrossFit athletes, people that are more active, smaller, more mobile. So I'm kind of that like on the far end of the spectrum of tightness and muscle mass 
of people who works with, so I wanted to throw that in just so you guys can see part of what I was doing to get my pack back. And I'm finally benching again, so I'm benching again, pretty pain free. This is the most pain free I've benched in like well over a year. So I'm happy that the bicep tendon is feeling much better. Um, in this session, I just worked up to 400 for reps or 405. I hit four reps. In the, my max, I've hit 10 reps in the past, so obviously strength is down, but I am building it back. I'm feeling stronger every week, so I'm happy about it. Um, after bench, I got into some, well, squats were actually before this bench session, but on squats, I worked up to, I was doing four squats, I did 600 for five, felt pretty good as well. So I'm pretty much easing into my tribute prep, um, and I feel good. Strength is down because I cut so hard, obviously, but strength is definitely coming back. I think I could get plenty strong at this weight. Um, ideally, if I can hit, if I can hit anything around what I hit at the tribute last week, last year in the 242s, I would probably be happy. So I know I'm not gonna be able to hit the potential that I could hit at 242, obviously, if I was weighing in the 250s. But I do think that I could still beat my old total world record of 2101 and I do think I can get after that world record squat which I think is like 822 so those are my goals to beat those two numbers I think I can get mid 2100s on the total so that's where I'm at at this point and we're starting prep we're starting fresh nothing hurts um, nothing's injured which is rare for me so I feel good I feel positive about this prep coming so yeah, that's an update on what's going on. Um, in general, for things like coaching, obviously, you just email me. I'll put the email below. It's rowotrong at gmail.com. Um, also, something else I'm thinking about is holding a squat competition, like Barbell Commission and Mount Vernon Barbell, the gym I train at, obviously. Maybe holding a competition um, unsanctioned at the end of the year just squat, squat only. Um, what would you guys think of that? It would probably be more of a local thing. Not the type of thing people really fly into, but I want to have just like a cool meet, squat only, because no one holds squat only meets. Um, let me know what you guys think. Would you want to come? Is that something you guys be into? Do you think that's a cool idea? Other than that, just go to the Barbell Commission site, barbellcommissionapparel.com. New gear is out. We're doing a huge Memorial Day weekend sale, so on that huge discounts right now and the shipping codes are going to